With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends, here the question is, an infinitely long wire carrying a current I is bent in at its midpoint O to form an angle 45 degree. P is a point uh, a distance from at a distance r from the point of bending find the magnetic field at p so here we have given that we are having a infinitely long wire which is carrying a current i now this wire is bent at its midpoint at this point o so uh, here the angle is 45 degree made by this bent wire we have to calculate the magnetic field at point b so here the magnetic field due to this horizontal wire will not contribute because the point and the wire is lying on the same line that's why it will not contribute but for due to this bent wire it will be there but we don't know the perpendicular distance between this wire bent wire and the point so for this we will reconstruct this diagram as so this is the new diagram now this angle is 45 degree that's why this opposite angle will also be 45 degree and it is here 90 degree so it will be 45 degree here now we want the perpendicular distance small r so here we can write cos of 45 is equal to small r divided by capital r so r will be equal to capital r into cos of 45 degree or it is equal to r divided by root 2 now we have calculated the perpendicular distance between point p and the rod now or sorry wire now we know that magnetic field is given by b equal to mu naught i divided by 4 pi r into sine of theta 1 plus sine of theta 2 now this theta 1 and theta 2 are the angles by, made by this point with the rod the first angle here is 45 degree if we check like this but it is in uh, we have to take this as negative so theta 1 will be minus of 45 and second angle made with, with this uh, uh, wire is 90 degree so theta 2 is 90 degree so if we substitute values b will be equal to mu naught i divided by 4 pi value of r is what r divided capital r divided by root 2 into sine of theta 1 is minus of 45 degree plus sine of 90 degree so we can write this as b equal to mu naught i divided by 4 pi r into root 2 into here sine of minus theta is minus sine theta so minus of 1 by root 2 plus 1 so if we multiply by this root 2 in the bracket b will be equal to mu naught i divided by 4 pi r into root 2 minus 1 and this is the required magnetic field thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today